During the pandemic, the government rolled out a 100 percent government guaranteed loan scheme to help small and medium sized businesses weather the difficult times. Under the program, loans totaling some $130 billion were provided to enterprises. But worries loom as companies will soon have to repay not just the loan interest, but also the principal. And firms that couldn't manage their cash flow might go under. Jackie Lin reports. This takeaway shop was run by restaurateur Anthony, who also manages several other eateries. Like hundreds of catering businesses which struggled under the pandemic in Hong Kong, he was handed a financial lifeline from the government's special 100% loan guarantee under the SME Financing Guarantee Scheme. Anthony said restaurants had to repay just the interest back then, but starting in October, they will have to pay off the outstanding principal, which would prove to be a hefty burden, especially when the economy has not picked up steam nor their income. The government guaranteed loan scheme was launched in April 2020. Each eligible small and medium-sized business could borrow $9 million with a 10-year loan repayment period. Some 38,000 businesses have benefited, involving more than $130 billion of loans. Edward Lam, president of the Hong Kong SME Development Federation, said the city's economy has recovered more slowly than expected. He fears some firms will go bust after failing to pay up the loan. Lam suggests prolonging the repayment period from 10 to 15 years. That could prevent mass layoffs and job losses, too. This as bad debts under the government's loan scheme are already stacking up. The default cases involved some $400 million in 2021, and in late July this year, $6 billion. Lawmaker Holden Chow said there is a need for the government to help these businesses tide over their difficult times. Otherwise, the government won't be able to shoulder the bad debts. In response, the Commerce and Economic Development Bureau said it will closely monitor the scheme's latest situation and review its effectiveness accordingly. Jack Hillen, TVB News.